Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Zentero. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a zodiac reading for you, Scorpio, for the week of May 29th. So let's see what is going on for Scorpio. If you like this video, Scorpio, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. A new start is coming, but adjustments are required. So Scorpio, you are ready. You're ready for a new start. You have been really going through some things here. And uh, just a few adjustments are required, which I could see why. You just have to balance out some of this karmic energy that you've been going through, some of these karmic endings that you've had happening here. Panther, so you are ready to strike. You are done with all of the stress and worry, and you are just on fire now you're just done with all of that heartache and all of that stress and all of that backstabbing just done with it the moon and the eight of swords so yeah you're ready to walk away you're ready to let this go and move on from it it's been tough scorpio you've been some really going through some tough thick energy here and it's been really really hard so the moon says that there are still some things going on there's still some confusion there's still some cloudiness here for you uh, it's an 18 card, which uh, equals a 9, so it is an ending for you. You are ending this confusion and cloudiness here, Scorpio, so just hang on there. And let's see what's at the bottom, the 9 of Swords. So look at that. That has been all that sorrow, all that stress, all of those sleepless nights that you've been going through, and that is really about to change for you. It's coming for you. Change is coming for you, so you just hold on. A new start is coming. There's you healing in the star card and really trying to gather your senses again. You've been really knocked off, really cut down and heartbroken. Let's see what can get Scorpio back. Oh, I saw the wheel. I wanted to come out there. It's a new start as well. Four of Wands is crossing you, so you're not seeing that finish line yet. You're just not. You, you want it, you're striving for it, but you're just not seeing it yet. It's coming into the future for Scorpio. There's Archangel Michael in the Temperance card. You're really being guided here, Scorpio. You really have um, gone through it. You really have. You've been backstabbed. You've been lied to. You've been cheated on. You've been just all of these things have been going on for you, and these are just really, really... Um, exhausted you you're just exhausted let's see these are great cards coming out for you though Ooh, and there's a love interest that wants to come in somebody who's gone through these same challenges these same heartache learning the same lessons as you and there's a message of love coming into you somebody's been really wanting to talk to you they've been holding back but they want to talk to you they have their eye on you these are great cards, Scorpio, I have to say. So yeah, they see you, they see you, they hear you, and they just want to be a part of this experience that you're going through here. And what's on the bottom of the deck? There's that stuck energy you've been in, and you are done with it. It's been quite some time, I'd say about six years, Scorpio, that you have really, really been going through things here and struggling six or seven years could be seven years and there is that seven year cycle that we have to go through and yeah it sucks the star card so here you are healing you're connecting to spirit you're connecting to your higher self and they are really really holding you up here they're really supporting you if you felt alone um, it, that was for purpose. You were meant to feel like you had to get this up on your own and get back into life on your own, but spirit has always been there. It reminds me of that poem, Footsteps, where you felt like you were walking alone on the, in the sand with only one set of footprints, and God says that that's when I was carrying you, and that's what's been happening here. Spirit has just been carrying you through all this harsh energy that you've gone through, and now it's time to heal from that. It's time to rest. It's time to... Um, just really gather your senses back because you've been knocked senseless through all this shit that you've been through. So just hang on there because you are being healed by spirit and there's some great, great things coming in for you. I can absolutely see this is a finally a good reading for you, Scorpio. So you just hang in there. What's blocking you with celebration is that finish line I was talking about. You're just not seeing it yet. You're feeling like this is never going to end. Like this is just going to go on forever. And I promise you it won't. I promise you there is a finish line ahead for you. 
and you just keep breathing you just keep going through your day and and looking for hope and looking for love because it wants to find you it's just right around the corner for you there is somebody watching you I can feel that and they want to approach you but they see what you've gone through and they see how fragile you are and they don't want to put any more stress on you and so they're waiting they're waiting for you to get your strength back up here before they approach you but rest assured they will approach you and they will make you this offer of let's go out let's let's um, have some fun let's celebrate the life and the good things in life and um, not look into that past so much of what has happened because they've gone through things to themselves and they don't want to even go there they just want to be done with it and move on and so do you so this is that energy I was feeling that's been watching you this is the king of swords this is somebody who really does hold on to their words until they know exactly what to say and exactly how to approach you um, this can be male or female energy, but they're a wise soul. They've been through it. They, they lost their magic, but they have it back again. Now they're starting to see the magic. They're starting to see life in a different way now. And they do want to approach you. Their spirit guided is guiding them to approach you and to make you an offer of some kind. I think it's, you know, let's get together. Let's, they're going to call you or text you something in writing here. They're going to send you some kind of note. And it's going to inspire you. It's going to make you believe again. And you're going to believe in magic again. And that's really exciting because you really do deserve this. You've been really hurt. And so this person really wants to come in, but they're just afraid to. They're holding back right now. And Spirit is kind of telling them to here. Archangel Michael with the Temperance is saying, be patient, be patient, wait for Scorpio. Don't approach too quickly. Scorpio has been hurt. So hold on and waiting for them to kind of get their balance back again and then just rush in and then they, they really do want to come in but um, spirit is just telling them urging them to be a little bit patient with you and let you find your balance you see the sun and the moon there in each hand of Archangel Michael he really wants this person to hold off and not approach you too quickly because you're very mistrusting right now you're not you're not just so open to anyone coming in you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve by any means so Spirit's waiting for you to open up a little bit to the idea of love and the idea that you can be loved and that you're worthy of love. And then this person's going to come rushing in. So find some joy in your daily life. Find some peace in your daily life. When you quiet your mind and you let go of the chaos, that's when this person's going to come rushing in. And they won't even know why. It's just going to be um, this inspiration, this push on their part. Like they're going to feel this hand on their shoulder pushing them toward you. And they're going to, they're going to reach out, but they're waiting for you to find some peace here and find some healing. And you're doing that. You're really holding on tightly to your emotions right now. You're not revealing how you feel. And you have this divine uh, uh, push yourself to heal your heart, to find your heart's desire, to find your passion again and, and find that spark again. And so that's what's coming towards you very very quickly you're gonna be divinely inspired to do something to go somewhere and that's when you you meet you you see this other person across the room and they see you and they're like wow I, I want I have to be with you I have to talk to you um, and you're gonna be feeling that temperance as well you're gonna be feeling that hold back I'm not ready I don't trust yet and so this is gonna be a slow moving energy it's gonna be a slow and steady energy it's going to really start to get momentum later on but first there's just this spark there's this meeting of the eyes almost and um, th this person just needs to approach you and you need to approach them but just be patient with it don't push it too quickly don't think this is it for me and just go all in you got to really be patient with this energy and really give yourself some time to heal from the past um, and what's happened here is spirit pushing that energy toward you there's there's a letter there on the on the ground there it's a, waiting for you so there, this person just wants to shower you with love and shower you with hope and shower you with magic and they will and just be patient because it's not going to be like BAM it's not like the lovers card where there's this intensity at first you might even it's going to be like one of those love-hate kind of relationships at first where you're like that's not even my type though and you're going to just be confused by the why you're attracted to this person and um, it's not my norm but you need to get out of your norm you need to get out of your type and find something that really puts your heart in at uh, 
in joy mode here and in, in inspiration mode and hope here. So don't be um, taken back if this person's not usually your type because you need a different type now. That, that type that you fell for before was hurtful and harmful and lied to you. So this person is not going to lie to you. They're a different personality than you're used to, but you're learning new things now and you're learning new ways. So be open to it. Just be open to all and don't set your sights on any one sign. I'm not even going to say what signs are here because that distracts us. I just want you to be open to new and to be hopeful that love is around the corner for you. <coughs> and you will find it very, very quickly. A new start is coming for you. The, the uh, new moon it says that here too. And we have a new moon coming up. So you are going to be so happy when you meet this person. You're going to feel very stable. You're going to feel very solid. You're going to feel like you worked really hard to get here, and you did. You really deserve this new love coming into you, this new start coming into you. So um, it is well, well deserved, Scorpio. You really, really had to dig deep for this one. And so did they. They were on the same path as you. They had been on the same um, journey as you. So. This person is really mature and really solid and um, is not going to lie to you and really not going to deceive you at all. There's no deception here at all. So you can trust again, but take it slow. Take it one day at a time, one step at a time. This is the travel card. This is the ships coming in card, the three of wands. So um, you may meet them while you're traveling. Maybe take a vacation, take a break from it all. Get out to the ocean. I'm really seeing the ocean and the ocean is in this card. So you might meet this person by water, by sea, by, by some form of, of water here. And, um, it, but it's a fiery energy um, and it's uh, matching your vibration right now. The, this person is really matching your vibration right now. And so you're just going to connect. It's not going to matter. It doesn't matter if you don't go anywhere at all. This person is going to come into your life and is going to connect with you. Hopes and fears is the seven of wands. So you really put boundaries up. You really had some boundary learning lessons going on here. And you're sitting with yourself and you're healing yourself and you're finding um, peace within yourself and that's what's going to open you up to this new relationship coming in you put yourself in a bubble here and you needed to you really did because you were too susceptible to um, people coming at you and trying to convince you one way or another and trying to manipulate your energy so now you cannot be manipulated you just can't there's nothing anyone can say to push you one way or another you have really found your independence here and your peace and there's nobody now Scorpio that can take this from you there's no one it's it's well earned and there's just no one on earth that can take it from you so don't be afraid that you're gonna fall back into that old cycle because you just simply won't it's not going to happen it's not in your cards to have happen <laughs> literally judgment queen of swords and page of cups so when I saw the queen of swords I knew that this was a partnership that you have both battled with you have both been through it. You've both have your swords down now. Your swords are down. So you're not in fight mode. You're not in protection mode anymore. You've got boundaries, each of you, but you're not um, on guard at all times. You've just learned these. You've warred. You've challenged. You've come up against energies that have really tested you. And now you're going to come into a partnership with somebody who has really gone through the same lessons and the same battles. And you two are true, true partners now. You're not, there's not one trying to manipulate the other or one trying to compete. There's no competition in this, in this partnership here. You have both been through the same things. You're both um, learning the same lessons. So competition is gone from this partnership. There's no one competing here with you. So that's beautiful. Judgment says you had to own your part in it. You had to call yourself out in what you could have changed, what you could have done differently, and that changed everything. That really is what changed this karmic cycle into the new, into the new um, way of being, into the new people in your life, into the new friend, tribe, and this new partnership. You had to go through it. You had to call yourself out. and You, you couldn't keep blaming everyone around you for your own failures. It was like you were arguing for your own limitations for a while and I couldn't do it because of that person or your parents or <coughs> whoever it was that you were blaming. They were absolutely at fault. <coughs> Excuse me. They could have guided you differently. They didn't have the words. See, my voice was losing there. So it's proof to me that they didn't have the words to help you and guide you. So they just did it their way. They did it the way they were raised or they, they were taught. And so now you're doing that. Now you're calling yourself out and you're, you're saying, I can't blame 
everyone around me forever for myself, for my own life path. You're reclaiming your life. You're reclaiming your responsibilities in life and what you do have control over. And you have control over your reactions and how you um, react to other people and how you, um, if you blame yourself for your you know, failures, when you finally do that, then you can blame yourself for your credit and for your, you can acknowledge yourself for your wins. And that's what Spirit wanted you to do. They wanted you to give yourself credit for your wins just as much as you give yourself credit for your failures. So you were only giving yourself credit for your failures. You weren't giving yourself any credit for the wins. <clears throat> so now you're doing that. Now you're calling yourself out and you're saying, well, yeah, but I learned this and I, I, now I know, now I know. And that's all I needed was to know. And I'm not confused on who to trust anymore. I'm not um, baffled by these people who I thought I knew and then I didn't know them at all. So, and that opens up so many options for you. So this person is really going to surprise you. They are not anyone that you are normally attracted to. So that's really interesting because this is the Page of Cups. This is another message, but it's something unexpected. It's something when pigs fly. I don't know if you can see that, that pig in the sky there flying. So this person really um, surprises you and baffles you because you're, you're just not used to this type of person. They're just so completely opposite of what you're normally attracted to. And don't forget that you are the opposite of what they're normally attracted to too. So they're gonna be a little baffled themselves, but they've been learning the same thing. They've been on the same path and the two of you are going to come together and you're not going to talk about all the failures of the past you're not going to talk about all the things that went wrong you're just going to really look forward to a future together and what you can accomplish together because you are going to be this power couple this power powerhouse together where you can beat anything that comes your way you're going to you're going to come together and you're true soulmates and you're going to fight together and you're not going to be fighting each other. You're just going to be fighting together and, and fighting the good fight together. And that's going to bring in so many wins for you both. So, um, and it's magical and it's beautiful. So I just, I really love seeing this for you, Scorpio. You just deserve this so very much. And I just absolutely love seeing this for you, but don't forget, it's going to be somebody you never saw coming. So do not be surprised when this person uh, approaches you or you might find yourself approaching them and saying um, hi I'm so-and-so and, -so, and um, nice to meet you you might really do that and you might really step out of your comfort zone here you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone here so but it's beautiful you have to keep me updated on this I am really excited for you all right, Scorpio, I hope you have a fabulous week. I see that you will, and I'm really excited for you. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to enter my free private reading raffle, all you have to do is hit subscribe and say that you've subscribed in the comment box below, and I will enter your name into a free private reading that I'm going to be drawing um, for for the end of June. So, all right, thank you so much. Till next time.